folks, Chris Waters here with the UB Blog, and I'm talking to Arnaud Rago, the game director on Steep. For all the beauty of a lone person standing on the mountainside, Steep is a game that's very social, it's about playing with friends, and I want to talk to you about competing with people in Steep. Yeah, definitely. This is something that is great alone, but even better when you are with the other, with your friends in the mountain. So you can group together and do whatever you want. So you can go for exploration, you can go for craziness, stunts, etc. But you can also go for some competition. So every challenge in the game is the theater for competition. And the way that competition works, I mean, if you're just if you just take on a run yourself. It's going to track you, it's going to time you, and it's going to put you on a leaderboard. And then that's going to be pushed out to all your friends and say, like, hey, yeah. come at me. And you know it's instantly, so it says, look, this guy just hold a record on these challenges, go and try to beat him. So it's all these uh, catchy moments where, oh no, he's beating my record, I need to uh, go back and try to uh, get back the crown. That happened to me while I was just <laughs> playing right now. It popped in and was like, oh, you're not the, more, you're not the world's yeah. best at this anymore. So <laughs> that, that kind of, uh, you know, friendly competition, that's what we want to create. But you can also group up side by side. We sort of start the race together and we're seeing each other weaving in and out yeah. and trying to get ahead. Yeah, definitely. So uh, you, you are free to set up whatever you want. So you can create a challenge. And if you want, you can start at the same time. Mm -hmm. At the end, we track the performance, but with the collision activated, it creates a bit of a spice in the form. Oh yeah, a little extra challenge yeah. there. And how many people can group up at once? So we, you can group up with three other people and be four together in the moment. Okay, and you can take on all the challenges, but also you can create your own challenge. You see, you see a line, you see some rocks you want to try to dodge around. Uh, you can turn basically any run into a challenge to your friends. Yeah, definitely every ride generates uh, a performance and you can uh, dare your friend to beat this performance. Could it be freestyle, free ride, risk taking, many different types of, uh, of performance. I was just messing around on the mountain, I found a wingsuit part to jump off of, and I, you know, did the daredevil thing, like, oh, get real close to rocks, oh, try to do it, try to dodge these trees, and it worked out okay, and then I crashed horribly. I wasn't even thinking, like, oh, I should share this line going in, but once I finished it and saw how deadly it was, or how challenging it was, I was like, I gotta, I gotta throw it down the gauntlet. Yeah, that's really what we want to have uh, as a feeling is, oh damn, I just do something great, I need to share it immediately. And we try to uh, make sure the process is really smooth, so you just have one button to press, and it goes to your friends, and you dare them to, to beat this performance. And there you go. Uh, let's not negate another sort of competition element, and that's who looks the best. So let's talk about customization <laughs> a little bit, because there are, you know, there's lots of different colors and some branded stuff in there, but also like some, some antlers and real wild out there customization. Yeah, we wanted to go a bit crazy with that. So, uh, you know, it's, uh, we have all the serious stuff, the brand, outfits, etc., and you can really look good and look like the best, but you can go totally crazy and put a, I don't know, a horse helmet on your, on your head or, or a snowman things. <laughs> And we really want also to have this creativity, so players are putting pieces of outfit together to look ugly, funny, whatever you want, so yeah. And you know what's really cool is that if you have a funny helmet, actually when you press X, it will shout some uh, different screaming each time. So, oh, really? Yeah, so for the horses, you will have uh, horses shout. Mm -hmm. For the snowman, you will have different type of and That's really funny. Actually. Interesting, yeah. little, little Easter egg in there. Talk to us a little bit about how people earn new gear throughout Steam. As you are competing activities, challenges, mountain stories, you will unlock um, outfits, items, etc. And but also each time you complete an activity, you earn in-game money. And this money you can spend it to buy new outfits, new items in the shop. Very cool. And you can look good and then bring your A-game competing against your friends in yeah. Steam. Uh, Arnaud, thanks so much for talking about uh, how we can match up, team up, and see who's the best. Oh yeah, I know Steve. the answer. <laughs>